I'm Christina, I'm 45 years old. I'm originally from Philadelphia. I've lived here in Tampa for about 22 years. And my dating life before I came to the matchmaking company was long. It was long, it was pretty exhausting. I was going through a lot of self-growth. So I think that opportunity was good for me. However, when I came to the point where I wanted something serious and I was ready, no one really met my expectations. Like I said, my name's Chris, I'm 44. I was married for almost 20 years and we separated back uh, shortly after getting here. And so I was living on my own with the kids. I really loved the, um, you know, getting to know them even better and traveling with them. But after a few years, you know, it was kind of unfulfilling and I, uh, I asked them, hey, should daddy try to start dating, seeing anybody? And without hesitation, they both said yes. So I decided to try to start dating again. And um, so I signed up for a couple of uh, online app type places. Didn't really, really yield any results. And I wasn't really trying to push it either, but all of a sudden I saw an ad for this matchmaking company in Tampa and I was like, hmm, well, I might as well reach out to them. So matchmaking in general, I, I went in knowing I was gonna do it. Because one of the questions I was asking myself, I'd never been married, and one of the questions I was asking myself when I walked through the door was like, if I was on my deathbed, would I have been sorry that I never tried? The truth is, I wanna live while I'm living. And I love the idea of going with the process because whatever I'd been doing wasn't landing me with the right people. Christina was so, first of all, her voice on the phone just sounds so pleasing, pleasant, loving, and she was so easy to talk to. I, I was just like, yeah, I'll, I'll meet, I'll kind of drop what I'm doing and I'll meet you later today and make it happen. Within that five to 10 minutes of talking to her on the phone, everything that I could feel that she was, she really was, you know, just genuine, loving, uh, empathetic. It's really hard to put into words all of what Christina is, who she is, and what Rebecca saw between us that made us perfect for each other. I was like, he's adorable. <laughs> when she was describing Chris to me, everything she said, it wasn't what I had on my paper, but it was something I really valued. There was nothing about him that wasn't amazing. She told me he was in the service, and I was like, oh my god, someone who's like is of service like that warms my heart or you know just things that were more like goals and deep values that weren't on my list so we met at three so we went and we got lemonade and we just like sat on a bench and talked for a while i found him incredibly attractive it's very grounded i think a lot of the things she had already told me really set me up for like who is this guy because he's quiet and reserved and I'm kind of gregarious and out there. So, you know, right after we were walking away and he held my hand and I was like, oh, that's sweet. I really trusted Rebecca, like it came down to that. And she really coached me through it. I mean, I think that when you do something like this and you're willing, there's a lot of like self-reflection that happens. As much as she said, like, is, do you have any drawbacks? Like is anything holding you back? And I was like, no. You know, I quickly find out it's myself holding me back. So I really had to put that trust in her because I wanted to go through the process.